Hey guys, it's the Drummer Gordo here, and today I'm going to teach you how to play the Echo Beat. There's probably a, a better name to call this beat, but when I was listening back, it just sounded like there was like artificial echo applied, like when you're editing audio and you can put echo in, and it makes the sound go doo -doo -doo, kind of like that. So that's why I called it the Echo Beat. I don't know what else to call it. If you have a better name for this beat, uh, put it down in the comments. So basically, this beat is an inverted double paradiddle. For those of you that don't know, well, a normal paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's a normal paradiddle. A double paradiddle is two extra strokes at the start. So right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. And if you're good at maths like me, you can count to six and you realize that this double paradiddle, paradiddle is triplets. Of course you can play triplets uh, as straight sixteenths and and have them offset as you play along, but that's a bit more complicated. But for this beat, you just need to play the double paradiddle as triplets. So it's right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Triplet feel. So the first triplet is right, left, right. The second triplet is left, right, right. <laughs> the third triplet is left, right, left. The fourth triplet is right, left, left. However, in this beat, I invert the paradiddle. So I play that double at the start. So the double paradiddle starts right, left, left, then right, left, right, and then the opposite, left, right, right, left, right, left. So the double comes near the start after the single stroke with the right hand and then straight into the double with the left. And then when you come to the other double, it's a single stroke with the left hand and the double with the right. So to practice and get ready for this beat, it's good to practice this inverted double paradiddle uh, with accents on the downstroke, without accents. To build up your strength, you can also play the paradiddle on a surface that doesn't rebound as well. Now, when playing this beat, that first triplet, that right, left, left that you play, it's on the middle of the bucket, which is notorious for having no bounce or no rebound. Playing the middle of the bucket really just sucks out your strokes and it's really hard to get a double. So that's the hardest part of this beat. The second part of the triplet, your left hand plays the back beat and then your right hand will play the next two strokes of the triplet after that. Now, these next two strokes, you can try and play them on the same bucket or you can do what I did and move them over to another bucket that was easier to play. It's hard to get that crisp sound on the main bucket, on this bucket, because I hit the stick flat to get that back beat, it's hard to do a double while hitting like a rim shot. It's like, if you ever play rim shots on the drums, it's hard to play double rim shots, like a double stroke roll or rim shots. It's very hard. So I move my right hand over to another bucket, but it still gets a similar effect of of three similar sounds, da, da, da. and it gets that kind of echo vibe. Now, how to apply this beat? There's two main ways to apply it. The first one is to play it in a triplet beat. Because the echo beat is triplets itself, da 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 you can apply it as like a fill in a, a beat that you're already playing triplets, like this. However, if you want to be a bit more fancy, you can play a straight 16th beat and then put the 16th note triplets on top of it. So when you play the echo beat, it's faster.
You can use this beat as like a fill on the fourth bar or on the eighth bar. You can use it as a fill and then go back to the main beat or you can use it as like a breakdown like I think I did in one of my covers that I did um, where I started with the triplet beat. <laughs> I started with I started with the triplet beat and then I think I played like a normal beat afterwards and then went back to the triplet beat. So the triplet beat was at the start. It was kind of like that breakdown that I played. So anyway, have fun with it. Uh, practice your paradiddles, practice your double paradiddles and let me know how you go.